after three years pandemic, finally we can go for travel. Yay! Where are we going? To New, New Zealand. Zealand! The flight from Hong Kong to Auckland took us 11 hours. We got really excited when we spotted Auckland's iconic harbour bridge and sky tower. New Zealand looks incredibly green from above in springtime. The borders had just reopened and entering the country was a breeze. Thankfully, we had a three-hour layover because we saw other people running to catch their domestic flight. The flight to Queenstown was amazing. We could even see Mount Cook and Lake Bukaki in the distance. The snow-capped mountains made our landing into Queenstown extra special. From here, Hong Kong is apparently 9,297 kilometers away. Then we started our road trip to a secret destination, a surprise for Carmen. The road to Teano opened up with spectacular views over Lake Wakatipu. We made it to New Zealand! <laughs> Devil's Staircase gave us a first picture-perfect taste of New Zealand. Even in spring, we could still see snow on the mountaintops. We were blessed with gorgeous blue skies. The wide vistas during our road trip were breathtaking. And of course, lots of sheep, including cute little lambs. The scenery drastically changed in the Red Tussock Conservation Area. We saw the dewey in front of our lunch. So nice. Ooh, it Ooh. smells nice. It smells so good. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. So rustic. How's the view? Yeah, <laughs> the evening started with wine and canapé, and then we had one of those little lamps we saw on the way over. The next morning, we awoke to unfamiliar birdsong. The views from the main lodge overlooking Fjordland National Park were absolutely stunning. Excitedly, we hit the road towards Milford Sound. Wide open views with mountains on either side dominated the landscape. A 
quick stop at Mirror Lakes for our first up-close encounter of the beautiful native beach forest that blankets the mountains. As we continued driving, the road became even more spectacular with each passing kilometer. At the single lane Homer Tunnel, we had to stop for a traffic light and were immediately greeted by the local mountain parrot, the cheeky Kia. kept a good eye on them as they like to rip the rubber of cars that are waiting for the traffic light. Emerging from the 1.2 km long tunnel, we were surrounded by breathtaking scenery, with waterfalls cascading all around us. Milford Sound is one of those places that is even better in rainy weather. Haha, <laughs> 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 those cheeky kias. The walk from the car park is through beautifully dense forest. With New Zealand's iconic silver fern in abundance. We had booked a cruise to explore Milford Sound. Besides the pier, you're surrounded by just wilderness. Sterling Falls at the bottom of a hanging valley is a sight to behold. You really get the feeling that you ended up in Jurassic Park. Big crack is the Alpine fault line. We were lucky to spot some Fjordland crested penguins.
And to tip it all off, we're going to cool dip in the Sterling Falls. More amazing views on the way back to Queenstown. Oh my god. You see that waterfall right in front of this? Yes. Keeping the keys in check. We celebrated Carmen's birthday that evening at the Kamana Lake House. You really shouldn't miss sunrise in Queenstown. <laughs> and a nice soak in the hot tub is just what we needed. Springtime was in full swing, with tons of cherry blossoms on the trees. After stocking up, we headed over to the Deer Park Heights, where you can buy animal feed and give it to the deer, ducks, donkeys, pigs and goats. Little did Carmen know that one reason we had to be so close to the airport was that I had booked the scenic flight as a birthday present. Plus, we got to enjoy some stunning views beforehand as a teaser. If some of the scenery looks familiar, then you may know it as the filming locations for Lord of the Rings, where the Fellowship is chased by orcs on top of wargs. You can drive your own car through the park, where you have sweeping views of Arrowtown and Queenstown. <laughs> See how he lies there? But we were on a mission to catch our flight. We had a small six-seater Cessna 206 from Glenarchy Air, flown by our excellent pilot Liam. The views after taking off from Queenstown Airport was a small taste for what was yet to come.
The initial climb was to get over the pass towards Skipper's Canyon. Once at altitude, we got brilliant 360 views over the mountain ranges. Despite the turbulence, we managed to get some great footage.
This flight over Mount Aspiring comes highly recommended. I would do it again in a heartbeat. We still had the afternoon to explore Queenstown, including its Queenstown Gardens, where they have massive redwood trees. The walk around the lakeside was super relaxing. We were just in time to see the arrival of steamboat TSS Ernstwall. These Tui were snacking on their favorite trees in bloom. And then we went up to the viewpoint above Queenstown, with the skyline gondola, to see the sunset. Fueled up with pancakes, we hit the road again, this time towards Wanaka. We took the scenic windy route via the Cardrona Valley. The view kept getting better and better. Wow! Amazing! Impressive! is Queenstown in the distance. You may be able to spot the runway of the airport where we took off earlier that day. We went for a short hike up the mountain for even more stunning views.
no trip to Wanaka is complete without seeing the most photographed tree in the world. After that quick stop in Wanaka, we were on a mission to get to Auraki, Mount Cook. Along the way, the Lindis Pass had fantastic views on offer, at a point where we started to think, can this still get better? The land started to spread out with one notable abnormality on the horizon. We didn't have time to visit the Omarama clay cliffs, yet the view from the road was still worth it. The Ben Ohau range guided our way towards Auraki. Before you get to Mount Cook, you pass the stunning Lake Pukaki, which glacial blue colors are unbelievable. The camera really doesn't do it justice. And there it is, Auraki, Mount Cook on the horizon. We were so lucky seeing it without a cloud cover. This drive must be one of the best in the world. Wherever you look is stunning. Mount Cook, Hooker Valley Track. Ooh, let's go.
as Mom Cook. The cloud coming off the mountain is an avalanche. Can you see the colors? Very nice. Amazing. <laughs> If you wondered why we weren't able to complete the Hooker Valley track, well, that's because we had to abort halfway because I could barely take 10 steps without taking a breather. By the next day we found out that it was due to Covid and that we had to isolate. The following days we spent in Airbnbs for which we were so thankful for allowing us to stay. In Christchurch we had an Airbnb close to the beach, so we could get some fresh air without being a nuisance to others. How are the dunes? Despite having to cut our journey short, skipping Wellington all together and just passing through with a connecting flight, we had a wonderful time in New Zealand and are looking forward to come back again.